The first girl I supposed I loved was Kathleen. Love meant holding hands while we walked home from kindergarten from school 84. I thought we'd get married. <laughs> In the first grade, she went to Immaculate Heart of Mary's across the street. During recesses for the next few years, I'd often go to this place on the playground fence where I could see a little bit of the playground fence of St. Mary's, thinking that maybe at the same time, she might decide to go to her little bit of fence and then I could wave to her, but she never did. I didn't love anyone in high school. No girlfriend, no prom. I thought I might fall in love, but my thoughts went from this girl to that girl. Don't overthink it, my friend said. Just let it happen. So I did. In college in Indiana, I fell for the girl with the curly blonde hair. She was the first person to say she loved me. She was also the first person to say, it's never felt that good. <laughs> love was something that could feel good. And in that way, help. I thought I loved her too. I thought we'd get married. <laughs> then, the girl with the curly blonde hair became the first person to cheat on me with a police officer. I guess that felt better. <laughs> I moved to Austin, Texas. It was fucking hot all the time, but, but the Texans didn't seem to care. I fell for a Russian, and she hated the heat too. She became the one that got away. We watched the July 4th fireworks from the rooftop of my house while drinking Lone Star. I thought we'd get married. It ended like the soft pop of a light bulb. When she left, I didn't think it mattered that much. I figured I'd move on. So I moved on to Boston, to West Virginia. I moved back to Austin. I wrote about love constantly. Dumb love, foolish love accidental love. But I was always writing the same story. Boy meets girl, girl leaves, girl doesn't show up at the fence anymore. Time will move on for you. In Austin, I met a, a woman that said she thought I deserved to be happy. I never really thought about happiness. Love might just mean happiness. She was from Pennsylvania, so she hated the heat too. We planned to move away together. When she broke up with me, she cried all night. I tried to comfort her. It wasn't like we were gonna get married, I said. <laughs> I thought we would, she said. So I moved to Chicago. <laughs> you have to put yourself out there, my friend said. An appetite comes from eating. So I ate. I discovered that I could sleep with nearly anyone at a bar if I could only agree with everything they said to me for over 20 minutes. I, I ended up dating a veterinarian for what should have been a month. She wanted, to try make, she wanted to try making fresh pasta, so I bought her a rolling machine. The relationship lasted two years. Her pasta was great. When I moved to New York, she said that she didn't want me to write because she imagined that my letters would be romantic. The Russian became the one who came back, like someone that double checks that they turned off all the lights. She would visit from Virginia and she came for July 4th weekend. We watched the fireworks from a Brooklyn rooftop while drinking wine. I told her that I never wanted to jeopardize her friendship again. And then 10 minutes later, I impulsively kissed her. We started planning our long distance future together as a couple. Love could be impulsive and planned. I found her a job in the Flatiron District, but then she impulsively took another job in Houston. She said there was no difference between taking a mega bus to Virginia and taking a plane to Houston. Well, I think there was a difference between taking a moving van to New York and taking a moving van to Houston. Just last week, an old friend called me from Austin. He'd been back in touch with an old flame in Portland. They'd been together and then broken up and then gotten back together and then broken up. Nobody understands why they break up, but it's obvious why they're together. He wants to quit his job now and move to Portland. 
They've been discussing this. He wanted my advice. I think he'd already made up his mind, but I think he was hoping I'd scare him out of it. Instead, I told him to do it. I said he'd never regret the time he spent with someone he loved, even if it doesn't work out, even if it isn't to be. Good.